Imagine you're out in your neighbourhood collecting for your favourite charity. You knock on someone's door and they don't seem like they want to talk to you about making a donation. You might reassure the person that even a very small donation would help. This makes it very difficult to refuse without appearing unhelpful. After all, who can't make a small donation to help out? It's important that you're not specifically asking for a small amount. It simply reduces the individual's ability to give nothing at all and still see themselves as a helpful individual. People still tend to give the typical amount they'd otherwise give. What if you're on the receiving end of a request to make a donation? You've just got home from work or study, you're tired and maybe a bit grumpy. The phone rings and it's a caller from a charity and you know they're going to ask for a donation. It's the last thing you want to be doing right now. Instead of coming straight out with the request for a donation, the caller instead asks you a different question. They ask, how are you feeling this evening? Now, there are schemas or scripts that we follow when someone asks us how we're feeling. We rarely ever say how we're really feeling, especially if it's a stranger. The general social rule is to reply with something like, I'm fine, or I'm well thanks, or perhaps even couldn't be better. Unfortunately, once you give one of these polite responses, you're totally trapped. Typically, the caller will quickly reply, well, I'm glad that you're well, but there are a lot of people who are doing much worse than you, and they could use your help. This is sometimes called the how are you feeling technique, and works on the principle that once you have said that you're going well, it's more difficult to appear stingy when you're asked to help others less fortunate than yourself. A study by Howard in 1990 showed a good example of this. In that study, the researchers called homeowners to ask if they would agree to allow a representative of Hunger Relief Committee to come to their house and sell fundraising biscuits. When tried on its own, this request received only 18% agreement. However, when the researchers used the how are you feeling technique, 32% of the people now agreed to the request and 89% of these agreed to purchase some of the biscuits when the representative actually turned up. So this consistency technique puts the person in the situation where if they refuse the request that would be inconsistent with the characteristics or values that we just made them think about.